right, everyone, welcome back to the land of Kemp. I am your host and the author. My name is Jeffrey Drum. Thank you all so much for joining me again. All right, everyone, welcome back. This is Sunday Site Visit 50, and today I have something extremely rare to share with you. Another Land of Kemp exclusive, a once in a lifetime first hand glimpse inside the underground mining tunnels that run below the Giza Plateau, known as the Tomb of the Birds. If this is the type of content you're interested in regarding the technology of an ancient civilization utilizing physics and chemistry, and the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures from across the world, this is the channel for you. So please subscribe to The Land of Chem here on YouTube. Don't forget to click that little notification bell so that you do not miss the new episodes that premiere twice per week. Please like, comment, and stay tuned if you want to help support the channel and get access to exclusive research and unreleased footage that you will not see anywhere else. Check out The Land of Chem members-only channel and thelandofchem.com if you want to pick up a copy of the book or grab some merch. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at the Land of Kemp. Also, don't forget, after you finish watching this video, please go subscribe to our two new channels here on YouTube, Egyptian Trash Cats, for all you cat lovers out there, and Egypt Eats for food reviews. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you all so much for the support. I think that's it for the intro, so without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, everyone, here we go with tonight's episode. And to preface the footage that you are about to see, I presented all of the relevant research detailing the significance of this underground metal mining tunnel system in episode 112. So I highly recommend watching that after you see today's Sunday site visit footage. But to quickly recap, the name for the Tomb of the Birds was derived from the ancient avian deity of protection for mining operations, and the mummified birds discovered in the rock carved recesses may have been used to test for toxic fumes within the mining tunnel system, the proverbial canary in the coal mine. And the original name for Giza, Rostau, literally translates to the mouth of the passages. And the fourth century Greco-Roman historian, Amanius Marcellinus, who traveled extensively in Egypt, wrote concerning the pyramids and spoke of, quote, subterranean fissures and winding passages called syringes underneath the Giza Plateau. This terminology of syringe is directly related to the operation of this mining system, which I will be explaining in an upcoming episode. And these mining shafts that start over here on the western side of the Giza Plateau with a close-up of the two entrances to the mining tunnels here, were explored by early Egyptologists Salt and Caviglia in the early 1900s, but they were completely forgotten until they were rediscovered by Andrew Collins in 2008, and they have been confirmed by ground-penetrating radar to run all the way across the Giza Plateau, and below the central pyramid. As you can see here, this tunnel system and this tunnel system in gray, running from the openings that I just showed over here down toward the central pyramid. And Andrew Collins' team, along with a separate group led by researcher Richard Gabriel, explored the depths of these tunnels until they reached an area that was intentionally blocked from the other side, an indication that there were multiple entrances into this system, and there was a direct effort to prevent anyone from exploring deeper into these mining tunnels, the existence of which has been completely denied by Zahi Hawass. This metal ore rich mining tunnel has troughs or conduits running all the way through the system. And these massive deposits of metal ore contain a vast array of different metals, like aluminum, iron, nickel, lead, tin, 
platinum, titanium, copper, praseodymium, neodymium, thorium, and precious metals like silver and gold. And I've said this before, but what you can see above ground on the Giza Plateau is only a small fraction of the complexity of this system. And now you will get to see firsthand a glimpse into the subterranean underworld below the Giza Plateau, the metal ore mining tunnels known as the Tomb of the Birds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. So these are the entrances into the underground tunnel system below the Giza Plateau. That I presented in the previous episode, underground mining tunnels at Giza. And I'm hoping we can get over to this other one, which is behind this ridge right here, which specifically is known as the Tomb of the Birds. And I'll show you on a map exactly where we are. So this is far on the western side of the Great Pyramid, adjacent to the new restaurant. And here it is. Hell yeah. I wasn't sure if this was going to be open, but we just got really lucky. So There are some underground structures to the left and to the right down in here. But that's not the primary area of interest. What we're looking for is here on the right. You can already see there's bats in here. This is it right here. And you can see at this area, the opening was once covered up. Looks like something interesting may have been housed here at these ridges. It's an interesting configuration for this housing back here and ladies and gentlemen I, this is it this is the entrance into the subterranean underworld below the Giza plateau known as the tomb of the birds
And I will say it stinks in here. Because this is a bat cave. But I can tell you the smell in here has absolutely nothing, no similarity whatsoever to the smell of ammonia inside of the red pyramid. It smells like what you would expect a rodent to smell like in here. But inside of the red pyramid, it is pure chemical ammonia. And back there, ladies and gentlemen, these are the entrances into the tunnels. Look at that red iron oxide material. And it looks like those stones were put over there to block that entrance. Um, in the entrance of safety, I mean, we're not crawling through any tunnels back here because I've already showed documentation of what's back there and we certainly don't have the gear for that. But this cave system does exist. Extremely careful. Holy shit. Look at that. It exists, ladies and gentlemen. like possibly leading in the other direction as well. All right. Huh. So I will say that we've been quite fortunate on today's expedition. Look at all that iron oxide. Holy shit. Underground mining tunnels below the Giza Plateau. It's one of those things that it just seems like some sort of fantasy. You know, you hear all this mythology about underground tunnels and secret structures hidden below the Giza Plateau. Well, it is real. Well, look at this too. There's a channel here leading into this kind of a channel flowing through here. Crazy. I'll just get one more shot back here. Here we go. <laughs> so, exclusive documentation. And this is probably going to be its own episode because I don't want this to get lost in the So I don't know what Sunday site visit this will premiere, but an exclusive. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. This was Sunday site visit 50. 
another Land of Chem exclusive from the underground metal mining tunnels that run below the Giza Plateau, known as the Tomb of the Birds. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and in the next episode of the series, I will be investigating the mysterious crystal temple structure that we recently discovered on our expedition to the Giza Plateau. This is an episode you do not want to miss, so if you're interested in the technology of an ancient civilization, utilizing physics and chemistry, and the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures from across the world, this is a channel for you. So please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube, and don't forget to click that little notification bell so that you do not miss the new episodes that premiere twice per week. Please like, comment, and stay tuned if you want to help support the channel. Check out the Land of Chem members only section and thelandofchem.com if you want to pick up a copy of the book or grab some merch. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at thelandofchem. Also, don't forget, after you finish watching this video, please go subscribe to our two new channels here on YouTube, Egyptian Trash Cats and Egypt Eats. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you all so much for the support. I think that's it for today's episode, so I will see you next time. Yo, are you still watching this? Please subscribe to The Land of Chem here on YouTube and click that little notification button. New videos coming out every single week. And check out this other episode. Come on, do it. Do it now! <laughs>